What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We have a cooking video for you. This is my wife's second video for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed. But before we get into it, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell, turn the notifications on. You do not want to miss any of the videos we are uploading. All right, so like the title says, this is gonna be a video of my wife showing you guys how she whips up her sheet pan nachos. Shout out to Taco Tuesday. Everybody loves nachos. Did I say nachos? Sheet pan nachos. Everybody loves nachos or tacos on Taco Tuesday. So what better time than to prep this for you guys, cook it up, show you guys how it is. I got a special guest. Hey, say hi. Oh, two guests. Two girls. We're, we're making a video for your mommy's uh, new YouTube channel. She's gonna be cooking. Doesn't everybody love her cooking? Yeah. My wife is actually at the store. She had to pick up a few uh, extra ingredients that she really wanted to make sure she had for you guys. She doesn't want to have acid. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and whip up. A margarita for her, you know what I mean? Uh, we got some limited edition. Hey, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'll go off the chains. We got the limited edition right here, all right? Not playing around. Not playing around on this Taco Tuesday. Got the limited edition uh, for these margaritas. And we also have the limited edition Coronas. Come on, guys, we're not playing, all right? Not playing today. Look guys, cooking with Porsche, it's going down. I'm gonna whip up these margaritas and then I'm gonna show you what we got. Hopefully my wife will be here by then. Dad life, you know the vibes. I'm gonna catch you guys in a minute. I had the mini uh, Coronas so I can put the Coronas in the actual glass. But let's see what we're working with before I give it to my wife. Oh, sweet. Might be too sweet. It's missing something. Perfect. Oh, hey, beautiful. Hey. There's a margarita, a mango margarita for you. Mango margarita. Everyone say hello to the chef. Positive moods only. Is that good for your for your uh, Taco Tuesday cooking? It is. All right, guys, gotta get her, gotta get her nice. All right, guys, so this is the chicken we'll be using for the sheet pan nachos right here. We got some chicken breast tenderloins right here. All right, Purdue. Hey, what's going on, pretty lady? <laughs> what you got for us? Okay, so fun fact. We like cucumbers on our nachos and tacos now, thanks to B Love's life. She, she uh, started doing that? Well, I don't know if she started it, but you that's see. where I saw it. Gotcha. I saw it on her channel, and they, they was telling us how they can't eat um, tacos without cucumbers. And I was like, okay, that's weird. Then I tasted it. 
And it was the ball. It's a hit. Yeah, that guy had cucumbers in there. Plus, cucumbers are just good like that. But I think people have been uh, really? using street talk. Uh, they like might street tacos. have, actually. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I can recall that from like Texas street tacos. Maybe. Maybe. But anywho, that's what we're doing here. So cutting up some cucumbers. And then she gonna give y'all the rundown of what's about to happen. I like the garlic and parsley. I just season it all around. I like onion. Get some onion powder. I like to use black pepper. Fill it around. And I've been doing these little, I like to do these little packets, but I'm not gonna buy them no more with all stuff going on with his brand in the world. What pack is that? I'd rather not say. Okay. <laughs> Turn it around. I use my hands a lot, so I'm gonna wash my hands. Turn around, season the same thing, same way. Why do you turn around, season? Uh, because what what the lady say? You eat both sides. <laughs> so you gotta season both sides. See, I don't season both sides. Oh, I used to not season both sides of mine. I do one side, put it in the oven. That's back in the day. That's like That's torture. called terrible cooking. That's torture. <laughs> That's what he used to do to me, y'all. Hey, I'm learning. You're teaching me. You're teaching me the way. I like to do salt, but only I only do salt on one side for this just because I'm not trying to make it too salty. And the taco seasoning that we put on once it's almost done cooking will make it really salty. So you don't want to use too much salty. So too much salt. So I'm gonna take my chicken over here. I'm kind of gonna rub these all in to get all the get it all rubbed. What? Get all the seasons on. Mm-hmm. Get it all in. Then I have. A pan of like oil already heated up, and I have it on medium heat. Uh, what kind of oil do you use? I use well, it's olive oil. <laughs> yeah. Put that on. We're gonna let that cook, and I'm gonna wash some stuff, and I'll be right back. one side and then I am going to just throw a little bit of water in there with the grease just a little bit because I am going to break up my chicken so so now I'm going to put some taco seasoning in the taco seasoning in there all in the water so it can get all juiced up in the water. You put the water in there for? Um, so, cause it's kind of like a sauce type of uh, seasoning. So you kind of want them like, yeah. <laughs> he 
see you don't have no words to say. Yeah. You just did. Just um, say you just did. Hey, look. I was like, Sometimes yeah. you can't explain while you're doing it. You're just doing it. Look. Just do what I say, okay? Don't worry about that. It's good. It's good. Put the water in there. Nah, but I did, I did it before without the water in it. It turned out how it's supposed to. So there's a reason behind it. I can't remember why. What it, Cause it, it's like a soft thick, seasoning. It right, thickens right, 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 when right. you. So I want to get it all in there. That's looking too I'm good. Turn my air down, my heat down a little teeny bit. Them things are seasoned. Well, when I shred it, it'll go everywhere. So. So you throw the shredded. So you also can put ground turkey on the nachos, ground beef. All of that. You can do any pretty much protein. You can put some shrimp on there. We're choosing chicken today. We did ground turkey last week. So yeah. We pretty much do this on a regular. Right. So it might be, it's not done fully yet, but you can start to shred your chicken up. So all of your meat can get to that sauce and this might take a little teeny time but if you do it like right when it's done you're good to go it should shred easily you just take two forks and you just go and it should just rip apart so <laughs> you tried i'll talk about this takes some um, with some forearm action right Is it, it gotta be it gotta be an easier way. It is. You what? can put it if you have a food processor. You can do your chicken like that. Um, you can shred your chicken. Um, All right, y'all. So you, you know, it would be really easy if it was in a crock pot, but mm, that crock pot chicken ain't hitting like that. I know. You don't want that crock pot chicken, guys. I don't. So. I don't know about that. Yeah, no, man. But either. it's looking good though. I don't want y'all to be too jealous out there. So. It will, I need it to sit in this for a, a good, like, at least, like, two minutes. Just sit in the sauce and finish cooking because uh, sometimes some of the pieces aren't done all the way. Mm -hmm. And we don't want no raw chicken. That ain't no good. We ain't got body. COVID going around. We don't want no salmonella poison or nothing like that. That take you out. <laughs> you start sneezing and you got salmonella. <laughs> Bro, they take you out. <laughs> Don't sneeze too hard. You might die. No, something might fall out. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so I'm going to put the top on and let it sit for like three minutes. But you don't want to overcook your chicken. Nobody want no dry chicken. Mm, hate dry chicken. What you going to do while you wait? Nothing. Take a sip of my drink. Okay. <sighs> See, y'all, that's why I made her margarita. She going to work today. Huh? That, margarita, that look a little sweet. This is my margarita really right here. Sweet. I use less agave nectar in mine. So I'm like, whew. Yeah, I drink some straw when I'm at home, all right? Don't judge me, all right? I'm still a man. Crazy. Oh yeah, shout out to X Factor Fitness. Y'all know the vibes. Alrighty. Okay, so first things first, ingredients list. I have lettuce, cheese, cucumbers, black beans, some Rotel. I got the Mexican style with lime. I got a little bit of taco sauce, some fire taco sauce, some, what are these? I can't. Jalapenos. Jalapenos. <laughs> Jalapenos. Uh, oh, quick question. Who calls it, what do you say, babe? Jalapenos. Jalapenos, <laughs> and who calls it jalapenos, which you're supposed to call it? Jalapenos. I need you guys to correct them. Tortillas, tortillas, hey, look, man. I got some cilantro, and then... This is our shredded chicken, looking all juicy. And I have tortilla chips. 
Got them tortilla chips on deck. Oh my gosh. First up, <laughs> do a bed of chips. Space them out because they're gonna connect with the cheese anyway. I do like a layering. So I'm gonna do some cheese. This, this is Mexican cheese. Well, Mexican blend shredded cheese. It's not like real Mexican cheese. I did some cheese. I'm using my hands because I'm cooking for my family. They are definitely cleaned and washed, but you just wanna throw chicken everywhere. This is extremely hot, but I have nails and I like to rip them up a little more than, you know, what is it called? Is it there? I Then the fork. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I'm just the man with the camera. You want to make me do this, y'all? He forcing me against my wheel. I want the people to know that my wife is getting it down. Ain't supposed to be helping these other folks out here, you know, for, for their men, you know? And for dudes, man, they gotta cook too. Another little layer of cheese. I'm gonna do some black beans. Everything is going on. Oh, you got them black beans today. That's that protein. And that fire. I'm gonna do some tomatoes. You gonna eat good. I make these a lot because it's not really, it's really easy to make. Then I'm gonna do another layer of cheese because I am going to stack some more chips on. More chips. So now the chips are coming. More chips. More chips, more chips. And this is why I don't order nachos at restaurants. Because if I want some nachos, I'm gonna come find my wife and say, hey wife, you, sexy you. Make me some nachos, did you uh, say? Can you uh -huh. make me some nachos? Oh, he's getting dear? nice, y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You hook me up, I'm gonna hook you up. Mm -hmm. Chicken. This will be my last layer. Chicken. Chicken. All right, so real quick, while you're doing that, okay. can you give me some quick measurements? I did a full can of the Rotel. I did a full can of the black beans, but I didn't use them all because um, uh, my kids don't even really eat black beans, but their dad does. So I just gave it, I just was like, okay. Um, I did, I gave the measurements. Did you? Yeah. I don't remember. All right, we're gonna check. We're gonna run the tapes back. If not, we're gonna have to put it in the description. That's a lot of work, guys. I Some need... stuff you put on after um, you cook it. So this will go in the oven and we'll be right back. Or it will follow me. But I don't need you to <laughs> <laughs> Follow me, hoes. Don't follow me. <laughs> don't follow me. Don't Watch out. Watch out. What do you need me? I'm trying to pull it up. <laughs> Everything is melted, but I like cheese. So I just top it with some more cheese. And then I will go and top it with cucumbers um i'm not gonna i don't really top it with the lettuce i let the kids pick up their own lettuce <sighs> this 
Then I use my little trick is plastic bags, warmed up some case up. <laughs> Hopefully I can find that. What you got, a bag? I got a Ziploc, a Ziploc bag, warmed up some queso, poured it in there, and I am going to just pour some queso all over. So that way it can be pretty and tastes good. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the sour cream. I pulled way too big, but it is what it is. I'm gonna actually switch to the outside because I don't like how big. Very important. Cut a small hole in that Ziploc bag. There we go. There it is. There it is. And I'm gonna fix this side. to throw my cilantro on. Don't get these, those, I don't like the stems. And fire sauce will be on the side because our kids eat this with us. All right, y'all, so here's the queso that we use right here. And here is the fire sauce. This is what she was talking about right here, fire sauce. And of course, you gotta have you some salsa. All right, gotta have you salsa. Huh? Don't hurt yourself. So this is what we got, guys. It looks great. As you guys notice, I normally just sit back and observe and just wait for food. All right? So we can go ahead and do a taste test. Okay. All right, but I'm gonna need me some. And I want some fire sauce. All right. Oh, we got something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So what we need? This is what you need, right? Okay, you need to make sure you get every single thing. So, um, you probably be able to just pick, right? So right. you go, you going in the middle. I like. Mm -hmm. so this is what you do. Find you a chip in the middle. Oh, here we go. Two chip type of sugar. You a two chip type? Oh, perfect though. Look at that. Um, you ain't got no. What? I got one on there. You, oh. trying, to, you trying to take me out. No, I'm not. You trying to take me out. Okay. I got my, I'll drop my chicken. I'm going to get one of them jalapenos real quick. I'm going to put mine. I'm taking another jalapeno. I'm going to. Let me see what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like right now. Okay. If y'all can see that. You know, I got the black beans. I got the jalapenos. got some black <laughs> beans. Right. I know how to say it now. I don't do nothing like that. I'm gonna put a little salsa on there. Can't put a little bit of salsa on there. Oh, of course. That's good. Put that cheese back in your head. I need a little more cheese on there. You need weed to get a lot of jar of cheese. All right, guys. So this is our taste test right here. Okay. Going in. Cheers. No, guys, let me go back in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just laughing over me still when he's being. Oh, it's a runner. <laughs> he's so annoying. We're going back in. I got to get two. I got to get two. He 
Good job. How's that, man? Mm -hmm. You did that thing with that one. Finger licking good. Oh. So, you guys, that concludes our sheet plan nachos. And again, you can do this with beef, ground turkey, chicken, shrimp, lobster, anything. Lobster? Yeah. Mm. Anything you want to do it with. Uh, and you can mix up because um, there's a lot of different ingredients that can go on cheap pan nachos. The whole point of cheap pan nachos is dumping everything up there and not caring because it'll all taste good. Mm. All so, tastes good. Follow the channel. Eat some good food.